Okay. So today's video was supposed to be a completely separate video, so I'm totally different. I've been working on this project for all week, and the deadline was supposed to be Saturday, which is today, which is right now, actually. It's like super past the deadline. And I'm actually only halfway through with the project. And just to give you a kind of a sneak peek, I'm making some things. So this is like a little, a bunch of drawings, right? A bunch of different, bunch of different drawings. Yeah? So I'll give you a more in-depth kind of view on that later. However, that project's only halfway done. So we're gonna do a different project inspired by that one. So it's kind of like a chain of events. Like I started this one because I was inspired to do it by an individual. And then that project inspired me to do this project. So what we're gonna do is pay homage to the guy who inspired this one and also inspired me to simply back in 2017 to pick up my pen and paper and start making art again. I'm talking about none other than Peter Draws, right? So when I was in Iraq, Baghdad, Iraq, I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos and I was deployed, all that, whatever. And I just kind of came across this channel and it was something simple like how to draw your feelings or something. And it was like an hour long video and, and I just sat there and watched it peacefully, just like, and something clicked for me when I was watching that video. And he just, it was a really simple, like he just picked up a Sharpie and just started doodling away on a post-it note. And it was so simple and I used to take art so seriously and it had to be so meticulous and just so, and just perfect. But eh, he, he showed me that there's another way to make art. It's, it's however you, want to express yourself and that's that's as simple as that so to say thank you finally three years later right so we're going to draw peter draws let's do it actually what we're going to do also um to kind of further say thank you to further like show appreciation i'm going to be using materials that i've seen him use that i in out of inspiration also bought them Rotring Isograph. This one's a 0.3. And I have one more. It is a 0.5. Right? So this one's a bit thicker than this one. And the two combined, I like to combine the two and make a good piece of art, right? I'm gonna just run with it and see what we come up with. Hopefully this wind isn't too bad. I know it's I decided to uh, step outside because my roommate's watching TV. He's being, TV's kind of loud, so step outside and the wind's blowing super hard. And <laughs> I tucked away behind this little, uh, this plant that's dead and just kind of making a lot of rustling noises in the wind. So hopefully it's a nice little aesthetic and not too distracting from the objective. Really, the only objective for this video is, well, to show appreciation, really. To show that, you know, I, I can't stress enough how, like, how much seeing Peter's videos inspired me. The reason that a lot of you who watch my stuff and enjoy my content and people I reach out to and we interact. And the reason I'm doing this is because of me. Because I want to, and I find true enjoyment. But you got to understand that Peter gave me permission, right? So uh, I come from the South, uh, South Mississippi, and where I grew up, it wasn't exactly accepted to be different. So what I mean by that is, you know, your, your standard like country, country boy is what I was expected to be, you know, speaking a southern drawl and wear the bootcut jeans and ride, drive the, the big pickup truck and work in the oil field or the, you know, like, it was either that life or I go to school, go to college, get a degree, and work as, like, a doctor because I was smarter than the average individual that come out of Mississippi or that come out of... Um, the school, the high school that I went to. Um, and to be honest, I didn't like either of the options that they 
presented to me. I didn't like college. I dropped out. I've dropped out twice now, and I just prefer not. I don't know. It's just I didn't really identify with any of the options that you know was presented to me. So I, I chose to find my own route, and I ended up picking the military out of kind of out of desperation, really, um, just because my son was born and I had to provide for him. And college, well, you know, I was in college, so whenever. Uh, he was coming around, so I had to figure something out. It's quick money. Uh, six months of training, and I was in. I was a soldier, and then four months after my training, I was deployed. So I had income. I had whatever. But anyway, uh, Peter allowed me to stretch outside of what was defined for me, and showed me that it's okay to express yourself in the manner that you want to. And he's kind of proven it, this this pose that he does. You know, he's like traveling. Um, I don't remember exactly where he was when he was traveling, but he uh, just kind of doing this funky little pose thing and just having fun, man, enjoying life. Keeping it, he lives rather simply, you know. Like, Peter, you go watch his YouTube video, and it's it's pretty consistent. The, the very, the many, many, many videos he's posted, he's got like a thousand now. And a lot of them are just like really chill, really calm and relaxed and not overly stressed about a whole lot. And um, his group, his community is super supportive, and super like just positive and uplifting. And it's really encouraging to to be a part of his community and to be, you know, to to know him virtually. And I've made it a goal of mine to meet him in person and... I'm not really in a hurry to do so because I know that one day I will meet him and it's going to be cool. But for now, I'm just making a piece of art for him. Making this little art piece just just to say thank you mostly. Just to thank you. I can't really say anything much more. And also, it was uh, this video is showcasing what I can and could continuously do with these alcohol-based markers because... I don't use them very often. I have them. I don't use them much, uh, but I want to use them. And I'm scared of them running out of ink, which is the reason why I don't use them. But, I mean, I could just always buy more if I like them enough. So, well, this, that's really the, the point, the whole purpose. Like, you know, I make art because I love it. I've always made art because I love it. It's been an escape for me. It's been like creating this, this, my own little universe is just so much fun but I do it the way I do it now because Peter showed me how to do it and I'm just going to keep doing it like this until I don't want to anymore really and all I can do is say thank you thank you so much and just that's it that's that's really it And there you have it, a piece of art made by me, inspired by Peter Draws. I think I'm gonna actually try and send it to him. Maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll appreciate it. Now, I know he'll appreciate it, but maybe he'll show it on one of his videos, and that'd be kind of cool, right? That'd be really cool. But this is one of his, uh, one of his, yeah. So. I really, I had a whole lot of fun with this. I don't usually use these markers, um, but I did end up using the alcohol-based markers today in this video because, I mean, because I wanted to, yeah, so. I hope you enjoyed, thank you for watching, thank you so much. This is The Hunt Studio, I'll see you later. See ya.